What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few methods to lower your ping and reduce packet loss in Valorant. Your ping and network connection is one of the most important parts of Valorant. After doing a little bit of research, I found a few common methods that people use to optimize their ping. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys these methods and hopefully reduce your ping. Right before we get into the video though, guys, I want to take a moment to thank Valorant Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Valorant Tracker is, you're really missing out. Valorant Tracker is an all-in-one companion tool that tracks your stats and reports them back to you. With Valorant Tracker, you can get a detailed look at all of your different stats like your headshot percentages, KD ratios, agent win rates, map win rates, and stuff like that. Valorant Tracker also includes a guide section with guides on lineups and strategies with every single agent in Valorant. This library is constantly being updated updated so there's always new lineups and strategies that are being added. With Valorant Tracker, you can check your friends' stats and learn more about them than they know about themselves. Not only is Valorant Tracker one of the most popular helpful tools, but it's also completely free to download. So make sure you go down in the description below or in the pinned comment and download Valorant Tracker today. Thank you again to Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video and with all that being said guys, let's get right back into the video. Now one thing I want to mention is that these changes won't help everyone. A lot of you with already good internet probably won't realize a huge change from these settings, but it's good to keep your ping optimized. The first thing I would do before we get into this video is create a restore point on your computer in case you want to revert it back to the settings that you had before. To do this, simply type create a restore point in your Windows search bar and then create a restore point. You can title it before ping changes or something like that. It's good to have this backup just in case you need it. The first tip I have for you guys on getting good ping in Valorant is to make sure that you are using Ethernet. Making sure that your computer is hardwired to your internet is really really helpful for getting good connection speed. A lot of the people getting really high ping are using Wi-Fi or a wireless connection and I really would not recommend this. Making sure your Ethernet is plugged directly into your computer and you're hardwired is the first step that I would take in getting better ping. The first method you guys want to do is type CMD in your search bar and then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. After your command prompt opens up, you're going to want to type ping 1.1.1.1. This will display a minimum, maximum, and average ping for this DNS. Next up, you guys are going to want to type ping 8.8.8.8. Again, this will give you another minimum, maximum, and average ping for this DNS. What you guys are going to want to do is compare the ping from 1.1.1.1 to 8.8.8.8. Find whichever one has the lower ping and then follow along with me. What you guys are going to want to do from here is find the little internet button in the bottom right hand side of your desktop and then right click on it and then click open network and internet settings. From here, click ethernet and then click change adapter options on the right hand side. From here, you want to right click on your network adapter and then click on properties. Now in this list, you want to look for internet pro protocol version 4 TCP forward slash IPv4. Once you find this, click on it and then click on the properties button. Now at the bottom, you're going to want to click on use the following DNS server addresses. If you got better ping on the ones, you're going to want to make your preferred DNS server 1.1.1.1 and your alternate DNS server as 1.0.0.1. If you got better ping on the eights, you're going to want to make it 8.8.8. .8 .8 dot eight and the alternate DNS server as eight dot eight dot four dot four. Once you have this on the DNS server with the lowest ping, you can click OK and we're done here. For the next step, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the Windows search bar and then type in firewall. You're going to want to open up your firewall and network protection settings. Once you have this open, click allow an app through firewall. This will pull up a list of all of the applications that you are allowing through your firewall. 
What we're gonna do now is click on the change settings button at the top. This will enable you to click the button on the bottom right that says allow another app. Once you see that button, click on it and then click on the browse button in the new window that appears. What you're gonna wanna do here is find your Riot Games folder and open that up. Once you open up the Riot Games folder, you wanna open up the Riot Client folder. Now you wanna double click on Riot Client Services.exe. Once you see this pop up on the screen, you wanna click add and this will add it to the apps that are allowed through your firewall. A lot of you probably already have Riot Client on this list, but it's good to make sure that you do. This will basically make it so that your Valorant doesn't get throttled by any internet protections that might be in place. For the third and final method, what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to go on Google and type in TCP Optimizer. Once you've typed this in, you want to click on the TCP Optimizer forward slash downloads speed guide.net. Once you're on this website, you guys are going to want to click TCP Optimizer 4. This download is completely safe and TCP Optimizer is a tool that a lot of people use. Once TCP Optimizer finishes downloading, you're going to want to open up and copy my settings. Once you have it open, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is slide this connection speed bar all the way up to 100 plus megabits per second. Once you have that cranked up, look at the network adapter selection and click on the drop down and select your network adapter. If you don't know what your network adapter is, you can right click on the bottom right internet icon and then open up your network settings and change adapter options and it'll actually show you what adapter you're using. Once you have this on the correct adapter, you're going to want to click advanced settings at the top and then at the bottom of your screen, you'll see four settings and you're going to want to click on the custom button. Now I want you guys to follow along with me as I read off these settings. For the first max connections box in the upper left hand side of the screen, you're going to want to make this 10. And right underneath that, we're also going to make the other box 10 as well. Next up in the host resolution section, we're going to want to make local priority on four. You're also going to want to change your host priority to five, DNS priority to six, and net BT priority to seven. In the retransmissions section, you're going to want to change the max SYN retransmissions to two. Make sure that this next box is the disabled. For the RTO boxes, we're going to make the initial RTO on 2000 and we're going to want the minimum RTO on 300. For the quality of service boxes, you're going to want the first box to be on zero. And then for the second drop down box, we're going to make this optimal one. For the network throttling index, we're going to make this first box disabled FFFF and the next box is going to be on gaming zero. This is basically to reduce the latency as much as possible for gaming. In the next section, you guys are going to want to change the TCP ACK frequency to disabled one, change TCP no delay to enabled one, and TCP DEL ACK ticks to disabled zero. In the memory allocation, we're going to make the large system cache default zero and the size default one. And lastly, in the dynamic port allocation, you guys are going to want to make sure that the max user port is on 65,534 and change the TCP timed wait delay to 32. And that's basically all of the settings for TCP optimizer. You can now click the apply changes button and a box will pop up that you can click on. I'd recommend ticking the little box that says backup on this page just in case you want to revert these settings. Once you click OK, your computer will need a restart for all of these settings to take effect. And after your PC restarts, congratulations, you have optimized your PC for the best connection speed. Like I mentioned towards the beginning of this video, this won't help everyone and my connection speed is already pretty fast, so all of this stuff was more of like a quality of life change. All of these settings that I told you guys in this video are pretty popular and there's a lot of other YouTube videos out there explaining all of this stuff in much more detail than I can. So anyways guys, if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Valorant is actually down right now because of the new patch coming out, so I'm super hyped to play that and I'm sure you guys are as well. Make sure you guys go down in the description and join my community discord server. We have a really chill community over there and we'd love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Evil Empire, laughing all the way to the bank. And I 
switch it up. Switching hoes, switching lanes, I don't give a fuck. New bitch, let her ball like she on the box. Now I'm down dizzy with these hoes and they adding up. And I need some gas, set up blood, cause he got plug. Smoke the wood, now she out, she ain't had enough. Put these on my wrist, now you niggas stand on my blood. Now I'm down dizzy with these hoes and they adding up.